Hello, welcome back. Happy Sunday, everyone. This is week 23 of me drawing every day for a year. Let's get into it. Here's the first drawing of week 23 on June 4th, 2023. It was a scene from the food court in my local shopping mall. Uh, early Sunday morning, not many people there, and I happened to grab this scene. I'm really, I realized doing this for the last 23 weeks, my natural tendency is to just draw objects. So I would have drawn this figure alone as a standalone spread, but I realize that's the good thing about drawing for 23 weeks straight is that you have this archive of sketchbooks now or of spreads and see what your, what my habits are. And I could break out of those habits if I choose to. And so I'm more aware of my drawing tendencies so I could work on things that I'm weak at. And I tend to be weak at drawing full scenes. So this was my first stab at um, drawing a, a broader scene in an environment. June 5th, not much happening here. I think this was my initial stab at a spread on June 5th. Wasn't working. Uh, the mantra of draw what's in front of you popped into my mind as I was scrambling to draw something that I found worthwhile. I didn't think this e-bike in front of me was worthwhile, but it was what was in front of me and that's what I drew. I did uh, um, get a better spread later on that night on the subway ride home. This particular gentleman was sleeping and then when I actually got home, I really wanted to end on a higher note than just leaving it with the subway sketch. And there was this uh, photo reference in Facebook's daily drawing challenge group and his nose and his chin really popped out. And I think it turned out fairly well. This week I've noticed just looking at this, uh, these few spreads so far it was a it was physically taxing at work so i think it really bled into the energy i was putting into my sketchbook drawings for this week not that great but i really want to keep the keep it going so i did a drawing of my studio or the messy corner of my studio um yeah bookcase a large cradle board that I plan to get to in the future and my supply, um, supply rack right there. Again, using my fountain pen, trying it out, capturing, um, I'm still not happy with how I'm laying down ink lines with my fountain pen. So that practice continues off and on and, uh, I tried drawing the ubiquitous Toronto hot dog cart. Um, these hot dog carts are so self-sufficient. These days, the proprietors have a small generator that runs uh, electrical lights. Even um, in the winter, they will run a generator, a heater in the back. And um, of course, their propane supply for their barbecue for the hot dogs. And then on this side, uh, another photo reference from Facebook's Daily Drawing Challenge. This particular guy was from, I guess, the early 1900s. This, what, this is what passed for a hot, um, football helmet, and that really captured my imagination. I really like the superhero-esque look of these helmets. Anyways, the next spread, going back into my um, comfort zone ballpoint pen drawings of... A photo from a photo reference and my co-worker Serhi. Another drawing of my another co-worker Taylor. She was kind enough to just stay still for me while I put her down, uh, put her down on paper during lunch break. And then the last drawing, <clears throat> you had to know that there was a subway drawing coming. It is what I really love doing. Um, and a guy was sleeping. Before I die, this is going to be a bit more, but before I die, I would like to just pull out a full-on painting palette on the subway and paint someone in oils. I think that would be fantastic. Anyways, 
those are my closing thoughts for week 23. I hope you enjoyed this week's drawings. Have a great week. I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.